News, a handshake of politics landed in Siaya County today where President Uhuru Kenyatta and fr former Prime Minister Raila Odinga attended a highly politicized funeral service of grandmother to Kisumu Governor Professor Anyang Nyong'o. Allies of the former Prime Minister called on uh, President Kenyatta to name a successor who can take forward the President's fight against corruption. <laughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta alongside opposition leader Raila Odinga were among a host of leaders who attended the funeral service of Kisumu Governor Professor Anyang Nyong'o's mother in Seme, Kisumu County. And here, the 2022 succession politics featured prominently, with the president being prodded to pick a successor that will carry on his anti-corruption crusade. That when you are living, we pray that God gives you life, gives you strength and energy. Please pray that you leave somebody in office who is going to continue with the fight against corruption. Don't leave a person who is going to reverse all the gains that you have started. Well, I hope and trust that you and Raila Mulodinga will be guided towards giving us a new dispensation including the referendum. The president on his part indicating a change in the country's politics from divisive tribal rhetoric to a united nation. Watu wajue Kenya sasa siasa yake imekuwa siasa ingine. Ya kwamba mtu anaweza kuja na aweke mali yake Kenya akijua ya kwamba long term ana plan 15, 20, 30 years because we have proved that we have reached political maturity by the changes that we envision will happen in our country. Kanesa ni mekua dobi ya kuzafisha pesa chafu amba imeibua. Ndiyo sababu ni meumbia mwajimewa mbadi alete sharia katika bunge. Parliamentary system of government, proportional representation because the presidential system does not work. Deputy President Dr. William Ruto, meanwhile, led his troops in West Pokot County, Tuam. Trukana Governor Josephat Nanoko Dinarili, an ODM governor, officially switching camps declaring he will marshal troops in the Rift Valley region to spearhead DP's 2022 presidential campaign in the region. Hiyo mzozo tumemaliza, mimi pamoja na wenzangu wa bunge kule Turkana tumemaliza, hapa pia mmemaliza, na sisi tumeshikana na viongozi wenyu tunasema direction moja. Na mwenye anamasikio, askie yale ndugu na noko, hamesema. Na hata hamesaidia kwa advice, wale watu wanataka kusimama na lulonyi ngapo 2022. Kwaamba, <laughs> njini mpumisike, steering wheel kwa sawa. Atutaki siyasa ya ugomvi, na chuki, na ukabila. Sisi, tunataka siyasa ya umoja, na maendeleo ya taifaletu la Kenya. Kwanzia hapa West Pokot, all the way mpaka kule Nairobi. In Malindi, rabble rouser rebel ODM MP Aisha Jumwa was going for his former boss's jugular. Jumwa, who assembled a battalion of women MPs, staged an opposition to the Embrace movement. While they challenged the agenda of the Embrace group, Jumwa warned against amending the constitution to reward political losers to leadership positions. <laughs> Kama umeingia kwa resi na hutaki kushindwa, 
ukiingia kwa resi uko na fixed mind ya kwamba ni lazima ushinde wewe hiyo ndio shida ambayo tuko nayo Samo kina Citizen TV Nairobi Moranga Women Representative Sabina Shege shed tears today at a rally in Moranga where the divide between President Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto appeared to be at play. A section of the crowd during an embrace rally heckled speakers in what appeared to be a contest between rival supporters of the president and his deputy. The female politicians lobby group that is rooting for the handshake between President Uru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga pitched in Timuranga County as part of their countrywide campaign. The handshake debate which has split the Jubilee party into two camps. President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto dominated the meeting as the women politicians rallied Muranga residents to embrace the handshake. Only though the people wanted the leaders to embrace the deputy president as well. Leader after leader taking to the podium echoed President Uru Kenyatta and their handshake with Raila Odinga. But the crowd did not take too kindly the split that has divided the Jubilee House, particularly in the president's own central Kenya backyard. And when the Kigumo legislator Wangari Moniki called on them to support the president, pro Ruto chants ran to the air. <laughs> Never tota bulete tare mo tare we. Ozi ane we ki ogazi wito. Nori ato era gani ha kwa ne guaje kaga. Di kwa ya hage ni e gera gara ni ya huru mo igaiwa Kenya tana udi kwa huta. Woman representative Sabina Chege had a tough time calming the crowd after she too was booed with a section of the crowd heckling her as they kept chanting Ruto's name reducing her to tears. <laughs> Gotri Modo Uru Ahetegeteo, the deputy president wake, William Samoy Arabruto. Nagohe Modo ka platform ha Muranga. Aka wo huru ena the na ke na ke ni dre da kumura from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. Ni dre da kumu da ida. Uru ogi dre to tiga na siya sa sa 2022. Toto 2022 nevera tomato hane ta tora hegesha na. The Embrace Movement is fashioned as a women leaders lobby group that supports the handshake and condemns early campaigns which they say polarizes the country. Chamutai going. Citizen.